Uh, happy International Cheetah Day. I am Anna. I'm one of the veterinarians here at CCF. And today, Cheetah Conservation Fund is open for the public and all departments are outside showing a little bit of what they do. So I'm very excited to show you what the clinic does. And here we have Dr. Marceline Gavanas and she will tell you a little bit of um, what the clinic works in cheetahs. Good morning everybody, my name is Marceline Gavanas. I am um, one of the veterinarians here at CCF. Um, so this is our clinic stand for International Cheetah Day. Happy International Cheetah Day, everybody. Um, on our stand here, we just have um, uh, bits and pieces of things that we do um, with our cheetahs commonly. So we have things such as wound cleanings, where sometimes um, our cheetahs um, get wounds on their bodies and we have to find a way to manage these wounds because we have to do it almost every day. And yeah. So we find creative ways in which we can clean these wounds and stuff without necessarily have to bring the cheetahs into the clinic. So that is just what we have here where a cheetah had a wound on the chin and then we use the feeding spoon with a swab to clean the wound under their chin. And uh, some of the other things we do is things such as fecals where we take poop samples from the cheetahs and then we try to um, work out exactly how many warm eggs they have um, and depending on how many they are and which type of worms they have we can either decide to then give them dewormers. Um, we also have some instruments for catheter placements where sometimes if we have to give uh, medication that needs to go into the vein or if we need to give the cheetah fluids um, or also when they're asleep and we want to give them yeah intravenous um, medication so here we have um, cheetah diseases that we come in contact with we have infectious and non-infectious diseases so the infectious diseases are the diseases that are caused by various infectious agents so bacteria viruses funguses all sorts of things and just examples of some of the things we see commonly include things like herpes, calicivirus, and chlamydia, pneumonia, which is just an infection in the lungs. So these are some of the things we see with cheetahs. And then also we have non-infectious diseases where we have things such as blockages where um, you can have hair blocking the um, hair blocking their uh, gastric tract so food is not moving through as it should or you have things such as them eating from the ground so they have sand blocking and also things such as bones and things if they decide to bite off a big piece of bone so we have things like that um tibia tassel laxation um gastritis and amyloidosis those are just examples of non-infectious um, diseases that we experience with the cheetahs and yeah, so we just have a spread out of different instruments that we do use um, with cheetahs. So we have some things for blood draws. As our cheetahs get older, we like to keep an eye on their liver health, keep an eye on their kidney health. And yeah, same like domestic cats. Um, if you have cats, you'll know that they end up having kidney issues sometimes. So we try to keep an eye on that. And with our older cats, we get them and we can measure their kidney values and their liver values and just see how their health is doing. And then we have some endotracheal tubes, which is what we use to help the cheetahs breathe when we have them under anesthesia. So if we need to make the cheetahs sleep for anything, so if we need to do surgery, then we can use some of these tubes to help the cheetah breathe while they are under anesthetic. 